Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Elsa. I have my abs. I'm Elsa, sorry. I'm just filming this intro right now. It's Friday night and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of vlogging this weekend and probably into like Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. I'm just getting it started, but I have a couple of things that I want to try to do this weekend. Um, the first one is read. I'd like to finish like two books, maybe? Because I've not been reading a lot recently. And the other thing is um, figure out what I'm going to wear to the Taylor Swift concert because I'm going in two weeks. So I have a couple things but I'm gonna show you guys first. First, I have this dress that I thrifted like a long time ago. It's like this sparkly, like prop dress type thing. This is the tag on it, I don't know. But it's really long right now. But since I'm, tall it's not quite long enough for me but so I think I might cut this into a like shorter mini mini dress and then do something about the straps and potentially wear it for Taylor Swift or just have it as a dress that I will like actually wear you know instead of like a long one because I think I would wear a short one a lot more other thing I have to show you guys is made a page of my reading journal yesterday I think and I really like it <laughs> so this is my summer reading overview page I just have over here these are the rest of the alphabet books that I have to read and then I'll be be done with the alphabet so I have those here then I have a box for each month June July and August on this page and then on the other side I just have space like right about whichever books I like the most probably probably oh my gosh and then I have this little pocket here that I taped in and this is just a little he's using my some of my stamps that I don't use very often but this is like my physical TBR I do have a physical TBR page in here also but I've already bought a lot more books since I made it, so <laughs> now I guess I have two. Will make me feel more accomplished when I finish a book that I own. But yeah, I really, really like how this one turned out. I'm very happy with it. So that is the stuff that I mainly want to get done this weekend. Hopefully, I'll read a little bit later because I do. I'm currently currently reading two books and I would really really like to finish them soon so yeah talk to you guys when I have an update It is now Saturday evening. I didn't film like anything today. I Well, I read for a little bit this morning and then I went for a hike with a couple of my friends and we got lunch. And we talked like forever, so I didn't get back here until like three in the afternoon. So basically that's all I did today. Me and my dad just like practiced guitar for a little bit, but that was all. So all I really have to update you on is like the 30 pages I read of this book, 40 maybe. It's getting a little bit more, like we're getting a little bit more action, I guess, which I'm happy about. Um, but yeah, that's really it.
it's like maybe going to rain tonight, which would be really good for putting me in like a reading mood. Yeah, no progress on a Taylor Swift outfit yet. I do need to get going on that, but yeah. Tomorrow I don't work until four, so we'll see what I end up doing tomorrow morning, I guess. Hopefully something a little bit more exciting. Hello everyone. Um, in a shocking turn of events, I'm actually headed to Goodwill to try to find another bookshelf for my room. So, I'll let you guys know if I find anything, but that's where I'm headed right now. Okay, so I did not find I did not find a shelf at Goodwill, which is not very shocking, but I was kind of hoping there was going to be one there. But now I'm just going home. I just fed a, f a family friend's cat after I stopped at Goodwill, and like that that was all. I really do want a new shelf though. I want to I have way too many books in my room right now. They don't all fit on the one that I have. So I'll probably continue to keep looking for one around here before I end up ordering one. Hello everyone. We've acquired a bookshelf that we're going to put together. Yeah. <laughs> Except I do have to go to work in like an hour and a half. So I don't know if we'll finish right now. We're gonna try to put this together, so. Hello everyone, um, I'm here with an update on my bookshelves, I guess, and also my outfit for Taylor Swift. This is a dress that I had. Originally it was like almost for floor length, so I just cropped it to make it shorter. And then I have some of the extra in my hair right now for like a bow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that for sure, but I kind of like how it looks right now, so I'm going to keep it, you know, just in case. Um, but then I guess I'll show you guys my bookshelves also. Let's, let's move a little closer. Okay, kind of a weird angle, but... Um, so right here, the bottom is just a bunch of, like, notebooks and school stuff and my journals and stuff. And then on the shelf right here is all of my Rick Riordan, Percy Jackson, Magnus Chase, all of that. Here are my only four non-fiction books that I literally have. And then this is like fantasy dystopian stuff over here. And then this is all Harry Potter. I have some repeat Harry Potters because I kind of just like collect them from thrift stores and stuff. <laughs> and then here's Rainbow Rowell, Rainbow Rowell. I don't know how to pronounce it. And here's Casey McQuiston. I have all three of theirs. And then on this shelf, the bottom two are just like not books they're like this is like random stuff this is like cards and things that people have written me and then I have my yearbooks on either side 
Here is just some miscellaneous like contemporary YA. This is contemporary adult fiction. These two right here are classics. And then at the top, I don't even know if you can see, can you? Up here, I like that. Um, that is more like contemporary, young adult, middle grade, whatever. And this is my shelf with like my favorite favorite books. I have like all my Alice Oseman stuff, my Jandy Nelson books. Then I have Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, which is one of my faves. I also have Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow up there because I needed one more and it matched the vibe, but I haven't actually read that yet. So yeah, that doesn't count as a favorite yet, but hopefully it will be good. So yeah, that's the tour. It's not even like very pretty. I was hoping it would be nicer, but I literally still, even with another bookshelf, I'm like running out of room for all my books. So maybe I'll work on making it pretty and show you guys another time, but this is what I have for now. Um, in terms of like what I've been doing other than this, mostly working. <laughs> I read a little bit more of The Sun and the Star this morning, um, but not a lot. I think I still have like 160-ish pages to go. So, I mean, hopefully I'll finish it soon, but like no promises. That's all I got right now. What day is it? It's Monday. I think I'm gonna keep working on this vlog until I finish at least one book. So that's gonna be the goal. I'll tell you guys if I do anything else exciting until then. Wanna hear this first sentence of a chapter? As Nico slept, Will ran his fingers through his boyfriend's dark hair. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are like that's, a fanfic. That's really bad. Do you want to hear Why it? did it say his boyfriend's when I already said Nico? Well, you can't like, say as, his. You can say as Nico slept. But if you say his, it could have been Will. It would be Will's hair. Will ran his fingers through Nico's hair as he slept. That's still ambiguous. <laughs> Will sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. As Nico wait, as Nico slept, his hair was run through by, by Will's the fingers, fingers of Will. <laughs> or you could just say Will ran his fingers through Nico's hair as he slept. Wait, <gasps> no, it could be Will though. <laughs> you don't through the sleepy <laughs> Nico's hair. <laughs> Hello everyone, <laughs> um, it's literally been probably weeks since I updated this vlog, but I said earlier that I was going to wrap it up when I finished a book, and I have finally finished a book. So let me give you my final review of the book I just finished, which is, <laughs> okay, The Sun and the Star. I really really had high hopes for this book which is probably why I ended up not enjoying it as much as I really thought I was going to um I don't, Nico and Will have been some of my favorite characters from like the Greek mythology Greek and Roman mythology Riordan universe for a really long time so I was really hoping that this was just gonna be like you know, a cute, a nice adventure, whatever. But, I don't know. It was too, like, mushy-gushy for me. Even for, like, a, a children's book. I just wasn't a huge fan of that. And also, it took a really, really long time for the adventure to pick up. Like, it was, like, 300 pages in when finally they were, like, fighting monsters and stuff. I just... Yeah. So, I gave this a three stars on Goodreads. I was really hoping for better. I mean, I think both of these authors are generally really good, Rick Riordan and Mark Ashiro, but I just didn't enjoy this book as much, which 
is disappointing, but it is what it is, you know, whatever. Um, one other quick thing that I want to tell you guys is I did cut my hair. I actually had my sister cut my hair. And it is really short. Or at least a lot shorter than it was before. Um, this is the hair now. It's giving a little bit Casey from Atypical, which is all good with me. But yeah. So, on that note, I guess I'm gonna finally wrap up this vlog. I actually think I started it like a month ago. So, because I had to like renew my library books, guys. I haven't finished a single one of them. So anyways, hopefully I'll do like an actual reading vlog soon where I like actually read. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching me like put my bookshelf together, get that all set up, and yeah. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.